All right, guys, Anthony Air Super Service. Got Andrew's heads. Went ahead and I was going to just surface them and recess a couple of valves. We got a couple of valves here that I've already taken them apart. Probably should have videoed me uh, measuring them. Um, a lot of them were anywhere. The lowest I saw was a couple of them at 15 thousandths recession, which is a little tight. That's a little close to the top. I mean, I'd like to see like 18 at the minimum, uh, up to 30, you know, which plus or minus 15, honestly, I'd say plus or minus, I know for a fact that plus or minus 12, you will not feel it. You won't, you won't feel it driving the truck. It doesn't change the compression that much. So, but at 15, remember this one, the other head actually blew, head gaskets blew, so and these have already been surfaced. Uh, they, it was all done in another shop, but the surface looks pretty good. I don't know, I'm gonna put it up and check it. Just just do a thin skim. I mean, they're already about 8,000 short. So what we might wind up doing is getting shorter push tubes. We possibly will leave all the stem heights, the spring pocket, leave all that the same, which we can just barely touch it, but, and, depending on how much that other head takes to clean up we'll decide how short we go uh, but i was going to do a quick skim on here and i saw this if you look guys the liners let's see which one it is i think that was over here wait maybe it was here the liners will just push in and out that's not tight enough. I mean, I've got the tools to put liners in. I actually quit doing it because I'd much rather put an entire guide in than just do a liner. I see this one isn't really going in very good. Once you get it started, you can see it. That liner, you run a brooch through it, which is like a little ball on a, on a stem and you air hammer it through there and it spreads out the guide and broaches it, just makes it to where it conforms to the bore that you're putting the liner into. And if you do that too much, you can actually make the guide smaller. You know, I mean, factory spec is like five thousandths. It's some stupid, ungodly freaking amount. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, granted, I could probably broach this a couple more times, push the envelope with how big they're gonna be. Because uh, every time you broach it, 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 it opens up, it opens it up. You know, it's just a ball. It's like a BB on a stem and you air hammer it. It's, it's, yeah. Um, what I'm getting at is I think we probably ought to just put guides in it. That freaking sucks. Or I can broach it. I mean, I'll measure it. We're getting ready to go eat lunch, but I just figured I would shoot this quick video here and show that uh, the liners are really not staying in very good. Let me see here. See, I can just push it down in there if I got the tool. Look. Ready? Oh, wrong one. Whatever. Here. If I could, uh, let's see right here. See if I can get on it. There you go. Look how easy that comes out. I mean, it just, I mean, I'll leave that. I don't know. I mean, I can broach it a couple more times and check and see how big it gets. Uh, and that won't take very long. I can do that. Check them. I mean, if we get too wobbly in there and it gets too big in order for it to tighten up on the bore, then, you know, we're going to have to put guides in it, which is a freaking drag because, I mean, I was really hoping we could just recess the valves, do a quick touch off on the surface, just make sure it's clean, which it, like this one should take less than a thousandths to clean up and it's already eight thousandths under right now so so we're going to do it to the get the other one i'll go ahead and check it and we'll see how thick it is we did get the engine in i haven't covered it back up yet short block is in chassis we can go over here and look at it we dump it and barring it over got the short block in Sitting in chassis. I'm waiting on heads now. We got to cover this thing up though. I don't know. I haven't blown it off and final cleaned it yet. There's still dust and lint and stuff on it. So we'll have to clean it real good. 
it's a whole process it takes me about a freaking hour to get it ready uh, but yeah so I was gonna just come back here and touch off and recess some valves and then have the heads ready but it didn't quite work like that so I got all the valves out I can put them back in their seats uh, these were the ones that needed to be recessed I have these little blocks here that I actually can keep them organized so that I can break down a set of heads and I can put those valves back in the original seats works out good too when we because uh, we lap all our valves in just to check just make sure I lap them make sure all the seats are good make sure there's no chatter make sure nothing's wrong and then I final clean put it in the spray cabinet clean those up clean the, the valves got shiny that is let's see if we can tell which ones have been moving think I mean you can tell see like that one's just regular it's not too bad and that one right there is all kinds of shiny looks like the looks like the guy the liner was moving around which I, I don't know I'll spec these valves out too it's just probably gonna turn into a full-on just do the heads you know we got to the rods checked out all right, so we saved some money there, but I don't know. I mean, I'll brush these when we get back from lunch. I'll check them, see if they'll get, see if they open up too big to get tightened up. Or if you want, we'll go ahead and send this to you guys, uh, Andrew and George, and you guys can, I mean, if you want to broach it some more, I mean, a lot of people put liners in, don't have problems with it. So it's not, I mean, it's, I mean, I would put guides in it, uh, but, I mean, we can broach it some more and ride with it. You know, I mean, I, I have put liners in heads before, uh, but anymore, I just do guides. Um, but the, the whole telltale will be once we tighten them up. We gotta tighten them up and see how big they are. If, if, they, if they take too much, and maybe when I, those ones that I can get out, I'll just put new liners in, because I have all the stuff here. It's just, I mean, you can put liners in with a freaking drill. You know, you don't need. K line they're just liners you put them down in there and you cut the top off of it for the length and then uh take this little guy right here where's my little oh i can't reach where's bb's at bb's are somewhere around here i don't know where the hell they are great okay they are what is that one that's seven millimeter and you put this in the cup and you air hammer it through. Let me show. I'm trying to do this with one hand. Hang on, guys. Bear with me. Where the hell is it? Okay, there it is. That is inverted. And that goes in there. Hold this. That's inverted right there. See how it's got a... And that has a ball. So you put that in it. Hook that to the air hammer and you drive this down through the guide and it that's broaching it that will press out the guide it'll make it kind of smash to the id of the existing whatever you reamed it out to which would be this little guy so you ream it out with this this little tool right here reams out cuts out just enough so the guide clears and i mean i'll probably try that first and then see how big they got to go before they tighten up i mean we can do that it's not that big of a deal you know try to work with what we are work with what we have here uh, but if you decide if you want to just throw a freaking i mean if i wouldn't just do these either if we do guides do all of them on um, both heads just get rid of all of them and put guides in everything so if we do that i mean there's just no use in no use in doing it halfway so that sucks, man. Sucks. Hey, blow that off, will you? All right, guys. I don't know. Just here I give an update what we're doing here. Andrew's engine is in. And I, I'm going to... I got magnets. I cover that up. I don't I don't leave that like that. So <laughs> it kind of sucks that I made a video with them uncovered because I was just cleaning them off. But 
What else we got here? Got the bed plate all sealed, new cam and crank sensors. Got everything that's supposed to be sealed up, sealed up. It ain't gonna leak nothing. It's a lot cleaner now, isn't it? Shining. Freaking better be. So, I don't know. What a drag. All right, guys, that's it, though. I'll go ahead and send this to you guys. You can decide if you want to go ahead and do guides or if you want me to try to uh, just run a brooch through it and hopefully it stiffens up. I mean, we can do that, too. I mean, I would obviously want to check it afterwards. So, all right, guys, that's it. Have a good day.